guys, it's Shama here, CEO of Scaling Retail, and today I'm so excited to be chatting with Emily, CEO and founder of Bitch Six. Holy shit, Emily, <laughs> how are you? This I'm good, amazing. how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. I mean, back to the return of trade shows. Like, I know. It just feels so amazing to get to like see people face to face. I know, and see their like, teeth. <laughs> And their lips, especially for my company. And their we have lips. legs, right? <laughs> it's like we're not just on Zoom anymore. We have yeah. full bodies. Um, I love your brand, Emily. Can you tell us a little bit about the backstory? I know you were founded in 2015. Holy bananas. Like that is like not a new brand, but not a mature business, yeah. right? So right. tell us a little yes, bit about no, the backstory. Big learning curve. Yeah. Where are you at? Give me the low down dirty. Yeah. So uh, Bitch Sticks, we're a lip and body a uh, bomb company and we're a social enterprise so we get back to survivors of domestic abuse and sexual assault so yes we we're learning kind of the industry and growing um, it's not my background but i had a mission and a vision and i thought let's try it it's amazing and so from your background as a sculptor right yeah. deciding to launch a product can you just tell me a little bit of like all of the like <laughs> fear and insecurity oh. and excitement and like to, to make that kind of a transition. Yeah. What was like the first product and can you tell me like all the emotions with it? Yeah, I, I mean that's a big, well I think as a maker and someone who, um, you know, I you have an idea and a concept, it's like there's so much that comes into it. So the backbone, you know, helping survivors of domestic abuse and sexual assault. Okay, what, how, and the word, language. Language is huge. It can be shaming, it can be encouraging, it can be all those things. So that's where the name came in, the product, um, a care product. So all these things had to kind of match up. Mm. So it took me a little while to find the right vehicle for each thing. So it's kind of like finding the right medium for an idea. I love so, that. You approach it like a creator. Yeah. And so, wow. I mean, if you would have asked me in the very beginning what this was gonna be, I didn't quite know. I had to kind of work through all those processes. So as an artist, right, I'm, I'm thinking of an artwork, but understanding this is a huge issue in culture, how are we gonna work all this together for good? And so Bitch Six was born. So we're lip, body, and lip care products and getting into some other things. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so exciting. But then also I use my retailers, right? So how do I find who I'm gonna, you know, fund? The retailer, those small boutiques who are on the street who get asked to help fundraise for organizations in their community, wow. they kind of know who's doing what in their community. And that's who I wanna find to support. I and love so it that. all works leveraging, together. <laughs> leveraging community to really be right. able to like yeah. disseminate the right capital, fund the right projects. Right, and to yeah. let you know about who's doing what yeah. in a community. Like I may not be in that community, but I have a retailer there who's like, they're doing this great after school project for A, or this is an amazing women's shelter, or this is you know, an amazing trans shelter. Like this is where it's all happening. I love that. You know, I was reading Melinda Gates's book mm -hmm. like, I don't know, a few months ago and she was talking about the importance of linking up to partners on yeah. the ground, you know, and there's yeah. definitely this like cultural dissonance when we want we want to do good, right? right? We want to help and yet it's like, you know, we're kind of removed from the problem. <laughs> yeah. Right. Especially and after COVID, it's like we're all been quarantined and how do we find Totally, yeah. totally. So tell me a little bit about kind of COVID for your business, right? Like, like what was Bitch Six like in COVID? COVID, that was like, wow, everything stopped because we're in small boutiques. We're not in the bigger chains and things like that. Um, and so everything stopped. And for me, I thought, okay, I've got to bring it forward. I don't know if I'm going to be still in business but this is our mission and vision. So actually we expedited our gifting. So at the beginning of COVID, because all the shelters were either closed or packed, people were trapped in their home. I mean, it was very scary time. Uh, violence was up, you know, so we thought, okay, let's just go ahead and do our gifts early. And so we did that. And then when things started to turn back on, it was like it all came back. I so, love that. I love that. But I think when you stick to your mission and your vision, yeah. it'll it'll work out. And as a social enterprise, I mean, I feel like that is really like a, an amazing cornerstone. You know, I feel like we oftentimes hear about companies who are doing give back programs and yeah. you know, like 
I'll give 10%, but they don't yeah. usually lead kind of right. with, with mission, right? It kind of becomes a bit of an right. afterthought. So like as you were kind of structuring the business model, yeah. right? So I mean, you're a true creator in many yeah. ways, right? A creator of product, of brand, of experience, but also this like very unique business model. Yeah. Like how did you kind of decide on like how to allocate resources and yeah. launch in this way? Well, I think for me, Bitch Sticks wouldn't work if it didn't have that aspect to it. Got it. I think it would have been kind of a flash in the pan. Oh, that's funny. It uses the word bitch. Well, that'll last like a hot second, you know? Totally. And I think, and just by, I think the history and, and what I do, there always has to be that component. I love that. So it, it was never like an add on, it was like from the beginning. And that's, I think, why we've been able to kind of sustain. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And then as far as like your distribution strategy, I mean, staying local is so important. Have you yeah. had to fend off any bigger retailers? Do you want to I mean, go into bigger retailers? I, you know, like, I wouldn't, I mean, like... I'm not against bigger retailers because right, Yeah. people go in, that's where they're seeing things. And I think right. the, the, the more I can bring this message to anybody, we're open to going anywhere. Got but it. I think in the beginning, I understood that this product might be considered, I needed to find my early adopters. Sure. Because some people walk by and they're like, what is it? You know, but other people are like, I love it. It has my name all over it. You know, so finding that early adopter and I think going to like this, the trade shows with the, you know, like the coteries and the magics and you know, we yes. find that boutique where people yes. are like, I'm creating a vision for a store that I would want to go to. Right. Can Bitch Sticks be part of that? I so, love that. I think that's amazing. It also makes me wonder like, you know, how in touch is Nordstrom's to their community? <laughs> Right? Or how, hey, like, well, after how COVID, I think like everything everyone. can change, right? Because it's like <laughs> there's hope for everybody. Yeah, I just I, you have to be that optimist though, because it's like you know everything changes. So yeah. it's like how do we adapt and how do we shift and how do we integrate and how do we in include mm. and all those things. It's like we just gotta stay on our toes and keep trying and trying and trying. Of course. Yeah. So if you were to give our audience, which is a group of young, early entrepreneurs, mm. similar to where you are in business in terms of like how yeah. they're growing, their challenges, like some words of like resiliency, some words of like, holy shit, how do I do this? <laughs> like, like what can you share with our yeah, audience? Yeah, I mean, like the tagline of our company, it's like bitch sticks, it's be courageous, speak up. And I think maybe find what you want to speak up about and just remember you got to be courageous and keep going and just it's hard work but it's worth it yeah <laughs> Emily you're the best thank you you're guys the best. <laughs> we'll see you later bye, bye. <laughs>